In this video I will show you how inventory management works in Splinks. Let's log into Splinks. There is a menu that is called inventory. When I click on it, I see the dashboard. Where are the items, the products, suppliers and invoices that we store in Splinks. Here is a chart that where we can see that 37 items are in the stock. Some of them are rented, sold and two were returned back to our supplier. Here is a history of what was happening with each equipment, with each item in our stock. So first of all I need to define suppliers. At the moment have, I have two suppliers too uh, and I can add a new supplier. It's just a company that sells equipment to us. Then I add the invoice where I define my supplier. I set up the number, which is the number of invoice that I received from my supplier and I choose the date. I can upload the PDF of supplier's invoice and then I choose products that are inside that invoice. For example, I can define a new product or I can choose existing one like a HAP white MicroTik router. So I put the price of 20 and quantity of 2. Now I need to scan barcodes. You can use just a simple any barcode reader and uh, when you type it, uh, it will just fill in the form and the barcode is already there. So let's click on the barcodes and it will show me the barcodes. Then I can go to my items and refresh. Here I see that 61 and 62 IDs of this uh, HAP MicroTik routers there are exactly that that I just added. So I can set up and move it to three different stages. Uh, the internal usage is the first one. So for example, if I put equipment to tower or somewhere internally, I need to move it out from stock and set it up to internal usage. That's what I did. Then I can display all my internal usage equipment and I can search based on the tower name or whatever I want. Uh, the next I can also return the equipment from the tower and I can put it back to stock with the default mark that it was already used and now I see the equipment is back to stock. So there are two barcodes and uh, if I have plenty of equipment it's very useful for me to search based by barcode on, on barcode. Here I click on the barcode window and I just scan my first code. Just give me a second it will just beep here and the second one as well. So that's what I got here. And I can sell the first equipment to customer Alexander. Here he is. I create the invoice immediately for him from Splinks and I set up the price. The default price here you can see 100 is sell price for this customer for this type of equipment. For each product I define the default pricing that I'll show a bit later and here the Alex Cherry I see that that equipment was sold to him and it's now under his account and now the second HAP router I will rent to Brian Alvarez and I'll just set up equipment rental which is included the default price of the rental is 12 US dollars but I set it up to zero and I just add it to my customer. So now I have two customers using this equipment and if I click on the Brian Alvarez it will show me that's the item ID 61 and the product is HAP White and the service ID is 11. So let's click on his services. I see there is a one recurring service which I created for this client but with a price of zero. And the second customer we do not have any recurring service but we have sold equipment to him. So he received the status sold and when I go to his services I see the service is empty, but if I open his invoices, I see that there is a one invoice that I created for this client for the amount of 100 US dollars for this HAP light equipment. So let's go back to my inventory and here we can find the information about the products and what, that's what I said, that when I'm adding the product I can set up his sell price and the rental price and also I can choose that product and see how many items of this product I have and the status is where they are and who is using this equipment so I can see this all in that table of the products. Let's scan two barcodes of my devices. So 
of the first one and the second one. So I got them and I just return them and I say that these devices are broken and I want to send it back to my supplier so I'm just selecting them as returned and now I see that two devices were put to the status returned and when I go back to my dashboard I can find that two devices were added here and also it's visible on the table of history. Thank you for your time, that's all.